Hi there, I'm Kristen Odlin here with Wes Gilbertson from Post Media here after a 2-1 Calgary Flames loss, their third in a row. Tonight it was to the Nashville Predators, the visiting Nashville Predators on the last half of a back-to-back. -back. And Wes, the starts are just really killing the Flames right now, aren't they? Yeah, it feels like we've kind of said the same story or written the same story over and over and over and the Flames don't have an answer for it either. They come out flat in the first period, they fall behind, you know, we saw this team come back so many times in the third period last year, but, you know, they're only playing 30, 40 minutes a game and, you know, the results are, are showing it. They're they're not coming back anymore and, you know, they're paying the price for the slow starts. And it was really a weird start to the game anyway because the Flames are, this is their last game before the All-Star break. Uh, they came off a really ro a rough road trip that they weren't very happy about. So tonight for them to come out uh, with a slow start, they had their late chances. Sure they did, but they just didn't have enough. That was pretty, pretty an interesting sign for the Flames heading into the All-Star break. And you had a Nashville team that played last night in Vancouver. So... If there was ever a game that you were going to jump all over somebody, they're playing their backup goalie, they're at the end of a four-game road trip, you know, their city's hosting the All-Star game and they might want to get back and check out a couple of the country bars. So, you know, it's one of those games you have to start well and, you know, they had four shots in the first period tonight, the Flames did, and, you know, that's not just not good enough, it's not even probably halfway to good enough. and. That ended up being the difference in the game. Now, Dennis Weidman in the second period has a collision with Don Henderson. It didn't look accidental, did it? No, the replays don't look good. And Dennis Weidman came to his locker after the game and explained that he was on his way back to the bench. He saw Don Henderson at the last minute. But, you know, you look at, at the replays and there seems to be kind of a follow-through motion. I, I'm sure the NHL is going to want to take a look at it. You know, Dennis might want to cut back his budget for his all-star break because there might be a little bit of money coming out of his pocket, I think. And he did say that he apologized, but we'll see how that plays out in the next couple of days. I'm Kristen Odlin here with Wes Gilbertson. Thanks a lot for watching.